Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Ross Patterson Revolution! Brought to you by GhostBed.com! The other thing that was crazy was there was, uh, you know, beyond, besides the Disney World thing, which every, everything is seems to be built around Disney World, sure. including like our hotel and, and all of that stuff. Yeah. Uh, shout out to Charles Zeller, uh, who hooked us up with, with all of that. Um, besides that, there was a Holy Land experience. Uh, if you're wondering what that is at home, because I was real curious, because you pass it on the highway every mm-hmm. single time you, you go there. Mm -hmm. Uh, in and out of your place Mm -hmm. it is medieval times but for jesus christ perfect um book it not a lot of words (laughs) book it we're going that sounds amazing so you remember the pirate thing that we went to yeah in uh medieval times yeah i remember all of it yeah Yeah. Yeah. Uh, they had that but for jesus and like he comes down out of the ceiling and does Mm -hmm. a whole thing and then you eat food with Christ and the apostles and, and all of this the stuff. The real ones? No, not the real ones. Oh, okay. But, um, yeah. I mean, you never know. You don't know. You don't you, know you don't what's know. real and what's not. You know what no. I mean? With that kind of stuff. Is it really them? Yeah. <laughs> right? Because it's all just a fun, little, a fun little story. Anyway. But it was huge. Like, a massive structure right on the highway. And you're like, my God goodness man how many people come to this that i mean apparently a lot because mm-hmm. it was a massive structure so you had i would that. go i'm not even joking i would but go I would for go. the story of it sure. and then to to talk about it on air for sure that's why i go anywhere anymore <laughs> the story of it right do you think i like olive garden no we'll find out if we get to go i think you find out tonight so you know as airs uh wednesday we'll find out tonight gosh, gosh. yeah Tell me something, girl. <laughs> oh, no. Ooh, my voice oh, is rough. No. <laughs> uh, the other thing about Orlando, which uh, they were definitely not set up for a big game like this or, or a bowl game. We went to the World Camping Bowl, right? Mm-hmm. Had never heard of, of that place. Sure. It was built in the 1930s and basically just a cement structure that is... In kind of the ghetto, no hotels, bars, restaurants, or anything around it. Cool. Real cool. Yep. Mad cool. Yeah. <laughs> kind of like a Greek sort of mm-hmm. <laughs> rock stru- Ruins? Was it in ruins? Almost. Okay. We had, look, we had front row tickets, and it was rad. So I yeah, didn't, it kind of looked fun. It, it did. Yeah. Um, but I don't know what the, like, looking up at the rest of the stadium, I'm like, man, are you just sitting on some or how does that work? Because uh, Ohio State's like that too. Yeah. It's such an old stadium. And they hold no, they know they hold like the Citrus Bowl there, one other bowl game, and that's about it. Um, and they were serving White Claw at the game. Of course. Which is amazing, by the way. White Claw? I think it's really, really hilarious that White Claw is now so huge that when the, the guy was walking up and down the aisles, they're asking, do you want Budweiser or White Claw? Um, the majority of folks, White Claw. When did you start saying folks? Uh, was that an an Orlando thing? Yeah, it's an Orlando oh, thing. Oh, wow. Just picking that up the, the lay of the loo. That is new. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of folks. Wow. Um, yep. Gosh, it's like I don't even know you anymore. Back from Orlando. I'm Back a different from Orlando, person. and it's like I don't, I can't even have a conversation. Yeah. So, it's just all different words and stuff. Now, were you drinking White Claw, and how do you feel about it? Y- yes, and I'll tell you why. Because um, it's so hot. One, it's so hot, and like beer in that weather is a no go, right? It's heavy. Y- yeah, it's, it's heavy. And, and to be completely dead honest about it, uh, it is higher proof than Budweiser. So, like, you're, like you're looking at a is six. It? Yeah. Okay. You're looking at a six versus, you know, Bud Light's, you know, four and a half. Got it. Um, ABV wise, and you're like, yo, oh, I'm getting fucked up. And they were charging more for the white claws than they were the Budweiser's. Higher, higher ABV. Yeah. So it was just like, all right, cool, man. Yeah. Let's get down on that. And it's, you know, again, it's hot. So you're just like, yeah. Yeah. And I'm even not even. Gonna... I went to a rose and a truly the other day. 
Mm. And you know, I don't, the, I only, it doesn't matter how hot it is, will drink a thick red. Yeah, 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 yeah. You. <laughs> and that's just a little bit about me, right? <laughs> it doesn't matter. I have to stick to that. <laughs> If I don't, you know, bad things happen. It could be 150 degrees and you'll drink a thick cab. A cab. Yeah. I would know. I, the, the most I was doing in a uh, hot girl summer is Pinot. Okay. But now that it's getting into sad boy fall, I can go back to my thicker zins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And cabs. Yeah. Right? Well, either or. Uh, we clawed it up. No, you know. The, the no laws, obviously, when you're drinking the claws, we mm-hmm. clawed it up all night, and they spot they actually sponsored our party Friday night. That's amazing. And I'm gonna I'm gonna be real. These dude after dude was was pounding those things down because it was you know because it was there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the the other part was uh, Tactica's Tactical Brewery sponsored the party on uh, Saturday, but you're at a craft brew house, mm-hmm. so it was like you're getting high ABVs. Where you're just like, all right, yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah, you don't need the no. Yeah, is that you can get a niner up there and be like, all right, right. I'm great. I can I can feel like a, a man again. Right. Uh, but yeah, just pounding butt heavies was when it's lower, brother. It's too tough. It's too tough. So we get out of the game, and again, every time we go to these things, no signals really, right? Right. You can kind of no send a couple on your beat. Yeah. Facebook posts or you know or, or stories where you're like, oh, that's going through two hours later, or whenever it is, right? Mm-hmm. And uh, you have no way to get an Uber or anything else and it's exactly what happened after that game and there's nowhere to go because you're in the in the hood no restaurants no bars whatever we started walking down i4 the highway on the side of the highway you ever see those people like walking down the highway and you're like and you're like the fuck is their problem i can genuinely kill somebody? say yeah. this for mm-hmm. the first time in my life i walked down a highway out of necessity to try to get to an exit where i could get my phone to work all of us and to get a car home uh Gosh. we had nothing so luckily, one of our, you know, friends who was with us, Nick, he, because uh, we were, we were pounding down claws, obviously, no cash at this point. He had a hundo tucked away. We found a furniture truck. A oh dang! Dead serious furniture truck. Two dudes, and literally at this point, and I, I may or may not have tried to steal a car before this, uh, just to get the fuck out of there. <laughs> See, whatever, man. I, Florida. That's Florida. Yes, it is. It is. That's 100%. what those. That's what those folks. That's what is it, folks? Folks. That's what those folks do over there. Yeah, because you, you lose your mind in that heat. Mm-hmm. So at this point, walking, I, I think we walked close to five and a half miles. And this is no, this is a true story. There you go. We find this furniture truck, and I think Alec, you took a picture of it, didn't you? Or no, it was I'm sorry, Dan. Dan I would, did. I would Venmo him, but he doesn't do any of that kind of stuff. Who? Nick. No, no, I. Look. He doesn't deal with electronic money. Old school, and and look, and it. It worked out this time. It worked out real Thank well. Thank God he doesn't do that much electronic money. Yeah. So we, he we likes go, to keep it gangster. We go up to these guys in the furniture truck and we're like, yo, man, uh, we'll, give you, we'll give you whatever money you want just to take us home. We can't get out of here. And we're stuck. We are stuck here. And like at this point, everything is empty too. Uh, nothing we can do. Ubers were like, go fuck yourself. We're not even coming down there um, because of the, the part of town we were in. Yeah. And uh, this guy looks at me and he goes, 100, 100 bucks. I was like, shit, I, Dan and I didn't have any what cash because we'd, we'd blown it all on things or whatever. And uh, Nick's like, cool, I got, I got 100 on me. Nick gives this guy $100. It's, it's the two of them in this truck. And the guy is holding it up like he works for the fucking mint department. Oh, stop. In like he can tell. Yeah. Like he can tell what this 100, if no, it's real we, or false. We're giving you a fake 100. 100 to get home, in yeah. a furniture truck mm-hmm, to get us home. Mm-hmm. And uh, uh, then he hands it to his buddy. And his buddy's just like, I mean, just I fucking this thing. And I was like, hey, guys. Do you, you have one of those pens, guys? Yeah. Do you think uh, three white dudes in the middle of, you know, the goddamn ghetto would, would, would give you a fake hundred at this point? So we get in with them and we realize we have like a, again, Orlando traffic. We realize we have like a fucking 30, 40 minute ride or whatever in the back of a furniture truck with these dudes. Now, luckily, there was a second row in this thing. But we're all smashed in together, sardined up. And uh, we're trying to make small talk with these guys because they look like killers. They look like murderers, right? Mm-hmm. And I go, so uh, what brought you to Orlando? You know? Uh, and he was like, work. The driver's like, work. Oh. And, it, and it was two white dudes, right? Cool, and cool, I go, cool, cool man. 
um, what kind of what kind of work you do, you furniture? know, whatever. Yeah, Did this or? furniture. Mm-hmm. Um, I was like, oh, were you guys picking stuff up after the game, like, you know, tables and chairs and stuff like that? And he's like, yeah. And uh, I was like, uh, how'd you, how'd you get into this? You know, trying to podcast him or something. Just try to get some answers out sure. of it. Sure. And he goes, "He's the only place that hired me after prison." And I was Blammo. Like, Great. Blammo, and, and you I go, shut up. I go, you no, shut right I up. didn't. I didn't ask him one more question. Sure. I go, oh, I was just like, uh, you mind if I ask what you were in for? And he goes, attempted murder. Rest of the the ride back was pretty pretty quiet after oh my that. God. Bye.